Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Ford Fiesta 2009 1.4 diesel and we're going to be doing a stage 1 remap. We're going to use the same software as last time, ECM Titanium. Click browse for the original EEPROM and locate the original file that you want to input to the system. Wait for it to find the ECU. Click abort when it's done, otherwise it'll just keep searching through the drivers. Double click onto the ECU. And that's all of the maps for this car. So injection, you've got four maps. So let's do the first one. Press enter to access the map. And for the injection is 6% that we're going to increase it by. So let's go back, select it from the number that's nearest to 20. So that'll be 22 and 1000 RPMs because that's 1000. That's near nearest to 20. And we'll have the percentage to 0.5. Now select all of the values beyond the load of 20 and beyond 1000 worths. And press the percentage button and press page 1. Once you do that, the light green will turn to dark green and you can see that the values have increased. Leave one row and one column, so go diagonally and increase the values by 0.5 again by pressing page up. And repeat this step so that you can take it up to 6% increase altogether. That's 2%. 2.5 3 3.5 4 4.5 and 5 Make sure to press page up each time to increase the values 5.5 and 6 that's this whole map done. You can close this now. And make sure, do not modify similar maps. Press OK. Do the same thing on the second one. Take it from 18 on the load and 1000 revs. And increase that by 0 0.5. And keep following through the same process to get the whole map to 6%. That's this map ready as well. We can close this and move on to the next one. Press enter to access the map. And increase these values as well. Just like before, 0 0.5 each time until we get to 6. Cool. 
that map is almost already. And the last injection map. And try to go into it again. And same process one more time for this. And we can close this as well. So the injection maps are all done. Now we can do the rail pressure. And if we go back to our notes, it says rail pressure, you increase it by 3%. Press enter to go into the map. Select it from 19 to 1000. Increase that by 0 0.5. And because 3% is smaller, what we're going to do is we're going to skip two rows this time. And that would be our 1% done. Skip another two rows. That's 1.5. 2%. 2.5. And... 3%. Then we can close this map and start on the next row and pressure on. Same process here, press enter to go in. 19 load and 1000 refs. And repeat the process, press page 1 to take it up by 0.5%. Skip from 2 rows and 2 columns. Increase it. And Follow through until you get to 3%. And that's rail pressure done. And now you've got fuel during acceleration. The fuel you need to increase by 3%. Enter to go in. Increase by 0.5. Increase it by 0.5, that makes it 1%. 1.5 is percent 2%. 2.5 and 3% for this whole map is done. We can close that as well. So these complete injection maps are all done and now we can go to we'll do this one last because we have to increase the percentage we'll go to torque limiter and torque limiter needs to be increased we'll do turbo pressure next turbo pressure is six percent so we're going to follow through as we've been doing before But this time we'll increase it by 1% because there's less space to move. Click the percentage, press page up, that's 1% increase. Skip one row and one column, press page up, that's 2%. 3%, 2.5%, and 3%. And 6%, that's the torque pressure done. So these, if I select all of it, the light green is the one that wasn't modified and the dark green are the ones that have been modified. Next is the torque limiters. 
for the torque limiters, you need to increase it by 35% for stage one. So I'm going to go back and put the percentage to 35. Press enter and make sure to press the percentage button. For torque limiters, we're going to select the whole map and increase it by 35 all at once. And close that one. And repeat the process for all of them. Select all, page up, increase it by 35%. Keep repeating this process until you've done all of them. And that's the last one. And you can close that. And make sure to save and you can save the whole file into the database press record and then press no this time and this time it says export the modified file press yes and take it to the folder where you want to export it to and you can rename this however you like so that you can input it into the car I'll name it stage one eco mod with this as well and press save and you can close this because the file has been saved and go onto the main folder and there you have the new file that's ready now you can take this and load it into the car and your car should start and have a good remap of stage one Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something and enjoyed the data and the information that I've given you. Make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my new videos when I upload them. I'll be uploading more remap videos and how to take out the file from a car from OBD and also the ECU method as well.